He was supposed to start his new job on Monday, but the new boss of Bernalillo County's jail mysteriously backed out at the last second. News 13 has uncovered new details that may explain why. Here's News 13's Haley Rush. Dean Jessica, we tried to ask the county manager today what happened. She wouldn't answer that question, but confidential sources tell us there were some red flags. A day after Michael Watkins was supposed to start running the Metropolitan Detention Center, the county tells us he backed out. No decision has been made in terms of next steps. Coming from Texas, Watkins was named the new jail administrator last month. His first day was supposed to be Monday. We will continue the search. We asked to speak with the county manager about why he no longer wanted the job. She sent us her spokeswoman, who wouldn't say. It's appropriate to really reach out to, in this case, Mr. Watkins. Confidential sources tell News 13 posts on Watkins' Facebook was a concern to the county. We looked online and found several posts like this saying the president was only elected because of the color of his skin. And this post, calling the president another black con artist. We did reach out to Watkins, but did not immediately hear back. When we asked the county about his posts, no comment. Any social media um, outlets or posts that happen to be on an applicant's uh, site uh, really isn't appropriate for us to discuss the content. Sources also tell us Watkins was resistant to complete a background check. We asked the county. They say he did sign the authorization form for a background check, but withdrew from the job before the county could complete it. Again, we reached out to Watkins on the phone and online and did not immediately hear from him. The county manager spokeswoman says she couldn't say whether social media was something the county looks at when hiring someone. Jessica, back to you. All right, thank you, Haley. Watkins was chosen out of 45 applicants for the job. The county says he has a background in corrections, law enforcement, and worked for the federal government.